CCTV footage of a ship surveillance captured a shocking moment when an employee of the Disney cruise in Florida was allegedly molesting an 11-year-old girl inside an elevator. More than a dozen men, including Disney employees, are facing jail time after they're caught in an undercover sex bust. Renowned director James Gunn has been fired from the upcoming movie Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 after old tweets re-emerged in which Gunn makes inappropriate statements regarding pedophilia and child sex abuse. This is where Alan Treister lives. When he was arrested, he told them his goal had always been to have with a 14-year-old boy. This man, Richard Morgan, has been taken into custody. He is a stage tech at Disney World. He met the victim's mom online. Did I mention that he just happens to be a lifeguard at the Polynesian Resort for Disney? You think there's a few children around there? 24-year-old Oliver Lovett is a youth entertainment host on the Disney Magic. The alleged victim said that he was playing inside the Oceaneer Kids Lab. This was on the ship back in April. Lovett was caught on camera touching a 10-year-old boy inappropriately. We begin, though, with a report that you won't see anywhere else. It's where every child's dream comes true, where you're supposed to feel safe and kids can be kids. As parents, you're going to want to pay close attention to our next story. On this channel, we have gone through a lot of different types of topics and theories, ranging from urban legends to Hollywood sexual assault cases. And with Dan Schneider back in the internet news, along with Disney getting involved in politics and children's education, this got me thinking, what secrets does Disney have hiding in their closets? What's going on in Disney that no one's talking about? On March 17th, 2022, a new story broke that among 108 arrests during a human trafficking sting in Florida, four of those criminals were Disney employees. He is accused of sending sexual images to someone he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Oh, did I mention that he just happens to be a lifeguard for Disney? Wilkinson Feedley, an employee at Tomorrowland's Cosmic Restaurant for four years, 45-year-old Ralph Lease, an IT for Disney, a four-year employee. 27-year-old Shabam Malviv, who is here on a citizenship, working as a software developer of Disney. And Xavier Jackson, a 27-year-old lifeguard at Polynesia Resort, who sent inappropriate photos of himself to a detective pretending to be a 14-year-old minor. Now, this wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened with Disney employees. Apparently, this happens more often than it should. In 2014, Aham Sofian was charged with two counts of station and one count of false imprisonment when he held a 13-year-old girl in the cabin and visited her. I will not release her name to protect the victim, but upon reading the story, I came across another incident that happened in 2012. So in 2012, on a Disney cruise ship about to leave Florida docks, a 11-year-old girl was trapped on an elevator with a Disney employee as he molested her, but everything was caught on camera. A former ex-Disney cruise officer, Taplin, was the one who interviewed the victim after the grandmother of the child reported the incident to the guest services. We then were instructed by the higher-ups to keep quiet about the incident and not say nothing to anyone, not even report it to the authorities. Now, Taplin reviewed the footage and was disturbed by what she saw. While all this was going on, the passengers were still boarding the ship. Taplin said, and I quote, they weren't going anywhere for another two hours. I was ordered not to make any phone calls, do anything at all. Nothing, period. Just keep your mouth shut. If a crime is committed while you're hooked up anywhere here, it is an American. It is a United States. It is a Florida crime. It was not until after the cruise line was outside the U.S. jurisdiction that the incident was reported to foreign authorities. All just to keep the idea of Disney's cruise line is a magical reality at sea. Fun times heading your way. Yes, you're gonna love this. Nothing beats a Disney Resort hotel. It's a wonderful space. And moving on from Disney themes and cruise ships, I'm going to leave some links and articles and news reports about the park's problems down below. Now, I talked about this man before. I'm just going to do a quick recap about him 
and his dealings with Nickelodeon and how he landed the role on some of Disney shows. And I'm sure you heard of him. He was also involved in the acting camps with Dan Schneider. I will link my video about him in the cards above and down below in the description. Brian Peck, back in 2004, was put in prison for 16 months for lewd acts against a child under the age of 14, sodomy by a foreign object, and oral compilation. Now, the Nick star wants their name to be kept anonymous, and I don't blame them. Well, after Brian Peck got out of prison, that he served for only 16 months, he had to register as a sex offender. A year later, Brian Peck was hired by Disney, owned by ABC Network, for the TV series Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Check out this clip right here, how he's a talking mirror judging a girl's body. How do I look? Two words. Gorgeous. <laughs> Did your mirror just talk? Yep, it's something that daddy scientists came up with. Now, not only can I see how good I look, I can hear about it too. Yay, mirror! The idea of knowing that he is a known sex offender makes it seem disgusting. Now, in 2009, Brian Peck played a sex ed teacher in a short clip on YouTube called Quarantine. Check it out and tell me what you see down in the comments. I'm the sex ed teacher. I've read about this happening in other places. Look, it can't be stopped. It's horrible. It's like a plague. Our school has been contaminated with the gay. Did you see it? I seen it too. Now, from my understanding of watching this clip, from watching this YouTube video, it was talking and pushing how people don't accept gays. And I don't think Brian Peck was the right choice for this role in this short clip. Do you? Now in 2010, Brian Peck was a dialogue coach for the movie Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, remember, he's a registered sex offender. He's not allowed to be around children. But why is he in a kid's show and works as a dialogue coach for children? You know, a dialogue coach is, from my understanding, the employee that gets the actor or actress ready for their role coming up, ready for their scene. And they spend the most time with the child, or I shouldn't say child, they spend the most time with the actor or actress alone. And that puts trust into each other. They trust each other. So why is he another dialogue coach, a kid's movie? Now this next one goes back to 1999. I couldn't find any news, TV coverage on this one, just some articles. Patrick J. Noden is an ex-Disney internet official who was charged with planning a sexual encounter with a 13-year-old girl in Los Angeles, sharing emails using the online alias Hot Seattle. What he did not know is the emails he was sharing was not with a 13-year-old girl, but with the FBI. Patrick was picked up at Santa Monica Pier where he arranged to meet the girl. He was sentenced by the district court judge, Edwin Regin, to nine months of home detention with an ankle monitor and five-year probation and $20,000 fine. It seems to me that Disney has a problem in their industry. It needs to work on more background checks and psych evaluations before hiring new people. And this will probably fix some of the issues. Now this last one I wanna talk about will be John Healy. Back in 2017, John Healy, the music executive of Disney, was charged with three counts of sexual abuse with two different victims. One came forward claiming she was sexually abused at the age of 15. And the second victim that came forward stated that it started when she was 10, all the way to the age of 15. Now in December 2017, he was suspended from Disney without pay awaiting trial. A spokesman of Disney came out with a statement that following Friday, quote, immediately upon learning of this situation tonight, he has been suspended without pay until the matter is resolved by the courts, end quote. Now, Healy pleaded not guilty to all the charges, quote, he denies these allegations and he will be fighting until the end to clear his name. It's a shame. That's all I got to say, end quote. In October 2019, the trial against Healy was dismissed. This will be the third trial for the same case. The first and second trial, the jury was unable to reach the verdict. So all in all, they dismissed it. I'm not sure, but my understanding 
If he did it, he got away with it. If he didn't, justice, I guess. I'm not sure if the courts could agree if he was innocent or not, and the court system just gave up. The information I provided above is all in news articles and open for anyone to look up and research on their own. I'm just reporting the findings that I found and relaying information in the video.